Hi, I'm Tony Stefano with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm, and today I'm working on a new way that I want to s display our pre-cut trees. If you saw on that recap video, we currently use re-rod, and a lot of them kind of blow over and get sideways. So I'm trying to find a, a quick, easy, safe solution to um, and cheap to display some trees. And in the groups, I saw someone use some PVC pipe and kind of put that inside of a tire and use that to support the trees. So running with that concept, I have made this. And this is an 18 by 18, just um, treated plywood, half inch. And I have bolted a toilet flange onto it. And my hope is that I will can take these flanges or can be used with three or four inch PVC. <clears throat> and I have a four inch PVC and then I have um, epoxied a nut on the inside, and that will kind of act as a pinch, pinch nut. And the four inch will fit over the cone. And the three inch will fit inside of the, inside of the flange. And the hope is that a smaller tree is obviously three inch, larger tree is four inch. I also saw some four to six inch adapters, but I wanted to give this, um, concept a test first to make sure it works before I invest any more time or energy into it. Um, I'm sure by far the easiest way to display the trees is using those pin style stands. For me, uh, I don't have a drill and where our pre-cut trees are displayed is right next to where the kids play and heaven forbid kid trips and falls and falls on that spike. I think that would be the end of a uh, Tony Spani Hillside Christmas Tree Farm because you know, it's just a lot of risk and I don't, I just don't feel comfortable taking that chance. One time would be too many. So this is my idea. <clears throat> I have drilled a hole in the center to drain water if it gets collected in there. And basically right now isn't at all close to Christmas time, but I have a few cut tr call trees in my backyard that I want to set up for this experiment just to see if they hold up to the wind and kind of the weather. So let's, um, let's go out there and put some trees up. All right, before we go out there, I have to drill a couple holes for the re-rod. And this one, I already drilled that one. Basically, I have some, you know, re-rod stakes with a little hook on it. And these are gonna get driven into the ground to hold the whole thing together. So let's drill a couple more on the other one. If this works well, obviously I'm gonna make probably 50 of these things or however many and get better bolts for the flanges, paint the bases, paint the, fl the flanges and the PVC, just make it look nicer than what the raw material color is. So I think we're, now we're ready to head out and mount up the trees. <clears throat> All right, so now we're outside in my backyard. I have to do, some things can't be done on the farm, especially stuff like this. Could be, but I'm not there all the time, so making use of the home is good. I'm gonna give, we have our two trees. Um, these are calls, so good good trees to use for this little experiment. I'm gonna give a new cut on this one because it doesn't look very straight. And then we'll get the things pounded in, get the trees stood up. I'm using my impact driver to make quick work of that nut. So I'll start with the cut. All right, and I think what I'm gonna do is try pounding them in kind of at an angle. That way if it does lean, it doesn't, doesn't pull straight out, so.
This one looks bigger, so we'll start with the four inch. So it's hitting the first branch before it hits the bottom, so we'll have to cut some branches off. There's one tree, that looks pretty straight. All right, and we'll do the same thing with the other one here. I can see that getting exhausting after doing it probably 10 times. Same thing, let's keep up some branches. And there we go, two pre-cut standing trees. So we'll let them sit, um, see if they hold up to the wind, kind of evaluate the results, see if it's worth investing in doing the rest of them this way. So yeah, we'll follow up with this in a couple weeks. All right, we just had some hurricane-like winds earlier today and we see that one of my trees actually fell down. Um, what they said today was gusts up to 70 miles an hour. So we're going to set this back up and give it another try. One thing we notice is that they kind of, I don't know, it must have been like a swirling wind because the stake is still in the ground. So we'll uh, get it reset and continue this experiment because I'm not ready to give up on it yet. All right. So our tree fell over again. It's not even a week since my last little update. Um, six days actually. And the tree fell over. So this clearly isn't gonna work in my operation. So we're back to coming up with another idea. I think what that idea is gonna be is just to get some longer re-rod and use zip ties and do a better job of securing that tree to the stake. Um, I was looking around at prices that seems relatively inexpensive to do so. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a whirl. So that'll be it. We tried it. You know, I wanted something easy, decorative. Decorative might be the wrong word, just something not a spike and something easy and to keep the tree straight, but it doesn't look like this is gonna be that solution. So alright, now we know. Thanks for watching.